Today, we are taking a look at some of the animals that have disappeared from our planet. From the dodo bird to the great white shark, these extinction stories are both tragic and fascinating. Join us as we delve into the reasons behind these extinctions and learn about the efforts being made to protect these animals and their habitats. So, sit back, relax, and get ready for an educational and captivating journey through time and the animal kingdom. First we have the dodo bird, Raphis cucolatus. The dodo bird was a flightless bird native to the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. It had a distinctive appearance, with a large, plump body, small wings, and a large beak. The dodo became extinct by the late 17th century due to hunting by sailors and invasive species introduced by humans such as pigs, rats, and monkeys. These animals ate dodo eggs and competed with dodos for food. The last recorded sighting of a dodo was in 1681. Next, we have the quagga, Equus quagga quagga, the quagga was a subspecies of the plains zebra that lived in South Africa. It had a unique striped pattern on its head, neck, and front of its body, but the rest of its body was a solid brown color. The quagga became extinct in the wild in 1883 due to hunting by European settlers. The last wild quagga was shot in the late 1870s, and the last captive quagga died in 1883 at the Amsterdam Zoo. We have the great auk, Pinguinus impinus, the great auk was a flightless bird native to the North Atlantic. It was a large bird, with a body length of up to 75 centimeters, 30 inches, and a wingspan of up to 1 meter, 3 feet. The great auk became extinct in the mid-19th century due to hunting and egg collecting. The last known pair of great auks were killed in 1844 on Elde Island, off the coast of Iceland. The stellar sea cow, Hydrodomalis hegus, the stellar sea cow was a large marine mammal that lived in the Bering Sea. It was a slow-moving and docile creature, reaching lengths of up to 9 meters, 30 feet, and weighing up to 8 tons. The stellar sea cow became extinct in the 18th century, only 27 years after it was discovered, due to hunting by sailors. The last known individual was killed in 1768 on Bering Island. The Tasmanian tiger, Thalassinus sinocephalus, the Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a marsupial native to Australia and Tasmania. It had a distinctive appearance, with a long, narrow muzzle, dark stripes on its back and tail, and a large jaw with sharp teeth. The Tasmanian tiger became extinct in the wild in the early 20th century due to hunting by European settlers. The last known wild thylacine was shot in 1930 and the last known captive thylacine died in 1936 at the Hobart Zoo. The Caribbean monk seal, Neomonicus tropicalis, the Caribbean monk seal was a marine mammal that lived in the Caribbean Sea. It was a relatively small seal, with a body length of up to 2.5 meters, 8 feet, and a weight of up to 300 kilograms, 660 pounds. The Caribbean monk seal became extinct in the wild in the 1950s due to hunting and habitat loss. The last confirmed sighting of a Caribbean monk seal in the wild was in 1952, but there have been some unconfirmed reports of sightings in the decades since. The Caspian tiger, Panthera tigris virgata, the Caspian tiger was a subspecies of tiger that lived in Central Asia. It was slightly smaller than other subspecies of tiger and had a distinctive, thick fur. The Caspian tiger became extinct in the wild in the 1970s due to hunting and habitat loss. The last wild Caspian tiger was reported in the 1970s, and the last confirmed sighting was in the 1970s. The woolly mammoth, Mammuthus primigenius, the woolly mammoth was a large elephant-like mammal that lived during the Ice Age. It was well adapted to the cold, with thick fur and a thick layer of fat. The woolly mammoth went extinct around 10,000 years ago due to a combination of hunting by humans and climate change. The last remaining populations of woolly mammoths lived on isolated Arctic islands, where they survived until around 4,000 years ago. The passenger pigeon, Ectopus migratorius, the passenger pigeon was a migratory bird that lived in North America. It was once the most numerous bird in the world, with flocks containing millions of individuals. The passenger pigeon became extinct in the early 20th century due to hunting and habitat loss. The last known wild passenger pigeon was shot in 1900, and the last captive passenger pigeon died in 1914 at the Cincinnati Zoo. 
Last we have the Great White Shark, Carcharidon carcharias. The Great White Shark is a large predatory shark that lives in coastal waters around the world. It is known for its distinctive white belly and shark teeth. The Great White Shark is currently considered vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, due to overfishing and hunting. Populations have declined significantly in recent years and conservation efforts are underway to protect the species. In conclusion, the extinction of these animals is a reminder of the impact that human activity can have on the natural world. It's important to remember that every species plays a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of ecosystems. We must take responsibility for the actions that have led to these extinctions, and work towards preserving the remaining biodiversity on our planet. Conservation efforts such as habitat protection, breeding programs, and stricter hunting laws are just some of the ways in which we can help protect these animals and their habitats. It's not too late to make a difference, let's work together to ensure that future generations can continue to enjoy the beauty and diversity of the animal kingdom. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative and educational content. See you next time.